Hello. This is our country, the United States of America. This is the state of Ohio. Here's Kentucky. And here's Indiana. This is the Ohio River, which is the line between Kentucky in the south, and Ohio and Indiana in the north. Cincinnati City is in southwest Ohio State, on the Ohio River. Cincinnati City is located in Hamilton County. Cincinnati is relatively close to Columbus and Dayton in Ohio, Indianapolis in Indiana, and Louisville and Lexington in Kentucky. In the metro area of Cincinnati, there are two rivers running from northeast to south. This is the Great Miami River. This is the Little Miami River. And there's one river running from south to north, it's the Licking River in Kentucky. Interstate 71 takes you northeast to Columbus and Cleveland. Interstate 75 goes north to Dayton, Toledo, and Detroit. These two roads merge in Cincinnati to cross a two-story bridge. The two roads remain on the same route for about 30 kilometers in Kentucky. Then, Interstate 71 separates from 75. 71 goes southwest to Louisville City. But 75 continues south to Lexington. Interstate 74 starts here and goes northwest to Indianapolis. This yellow line is the Loop 275 in Cincinnati. It's 83 miles, 134 kilometers long. The loop passes through three states. However, most of the route runs in Ohio. Its north arc is 22 kilometers from downtown Cincinnati. The main airport is in Kentucky, about 15 minutes southwest of downtown Cincinnati. Interstate 471 is a short link between Interstate 71 in downtown Cincinnati and the Loop 275 in Highlands Heights in Kentucky. So, how can we understand this huge metropolitan area? I had an idea. We can divide the area North Ohio River into five sections. The first section, between the Loop and the Little Miami River. The second section, between the Little River and Interstate 71. The third section, between 71 and 75, and it's the most important section. The fourth section, it's to the north, between 75 and 74. The fifth section, it's to the west, between 74, the Loop, and Ohio River. In the first section, we can find Forestville, Anderson Township, Newtown, Milford, etc. In the second section, we can find Walnut Hills, a smaller airport for training, Hyde Park, Madisonville, Indian Hill, Montgomery, Loveland, etc. The third section is the heart of the city. Here's the downtown. Over the Rhine. The Christ Hospital. Cincinnati University. The Zoo. Clifton. Avondale. Xavier University. Norwood. Amberley. Silverton. Blue Ash. Evandale. Sharonville. Mason. Lebanon. Springboro. In the fourth section, we can find Finneytown. Green Hills. Springdale. Forest Park. Northgate. Colerain. Fairfield. Hamilton. In the western section, here's Queensgate. And I made this area dark black. It's many railways running beside each other. And here's the cut, it's abbreviation for Cincinnati Union Terminal. It is not only a train station, but also a wonderful cultural and historical center with some great museums. Don't forget that this station is in the fifth section. However, it's near the downtown in the third section. Here's Western Hills. Bridgetown. Dent. Miami. Harrison. Etc. This is Route 50, which runs along the Ohio River for most of its route in the Cincinnati area.
This is Route 22 which passes over Route 71 south of Xavier University. This is Route 42. This is Route 4. This is Liberty Street, north of the downtown. This is Route 127. Route 562 is a link between 71 and 75. Here is the beginning of Interstate 74 and Route 27. This is Route 126. This is Route 264. So, how can we travel south to Kentucky? There are some bridges for vehicles, pedestrians, and trains. Here, there are some cities such as Covington and Newport, and the river Licking runs between them. There are also Fort Thomas, Erlanger, Florence, Independence, and the Cincinnati-slash-Northern Kentucky International Airport, or you can name it CVG Airport. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like it, please consider giving me a subscribe or a like because that really helps me as a small YouTuber. This wasn't the map of Cincinnati, but it was the map of the entire metro area as possible, so you can have a picture of it in your mind. Thanks for watching, goodbye.